Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we've got a picture which has got the this stone bridge uh, exposed correctly, but the sky is kind of a bit burnt there, it's a bit white. You can see it here. This little triangle here, by the way, if you click that, what happens when it draws this? It does an approximation and this will make sure it's accurate, so click that. Not much moved, so it's it's okay. And you can see there's a lot fallen off here. So what we can do is one way to address this trying to pull stuff back in that's fallen off the way it's all white here you can see it if you click i just turn all those three on you can see that there that's gone to the edge there so just turn those off because i want to see it visually in this case if i pull the exposure down then if you look at the histogram here you see there's more information coming in see the way it goes from zero pulling information in but look the whole histogram now is being squished up and down so if I pull that down, I'm also affecting the dark end. So the darks here are getting darker. So, you know, there's a bit, perhaps a bit too much dark under that archway now. So what else can we do? Well, there's the brightness. If I pull that down, I only get to the end. I can just about get it in here by pulling that down. But it's done the same sort of thing as the exposure. So the whole thing is being changed so if we reset that to make sure that's back to normal what about in contrast can you do anything there well i can maybe pull that in a bit here but when i've done that i've pulled in that here but the bottom's come up a lot here so and, and i've got this haziness so maybe i could push that back down again with say exposure so where do i do no that's and look what happens here it's sort of like it kind of won't go there's almost like there's a blockage there so let's reset those. You're not going to get much help with this. And of course, one of the classic things to do is to use the shadows and highlights. So I go down here and pull the highlights down. Now I'm addressing just the sky. So the rest of the picture pretty much stays the same. And if you look at the histogram here, I'm moving this the, just the top end up and down. So the bottom end staying the same. But what you do when you get that is you get a bit, you get a bit flat because you're pulling it all together. This is staying the same, but you're putting the highlights towards the shadows. And still there's a lot of detail missing. But there's one more trick up the sleeve here that is not on this panel. And that is to go up here to the assistant manager and see here where it says tone curve, apply tone curve. That appears by default because that's using information about the camera and the lens and so on that is going to effectively what this does um, typically is it brightens up the image otherwise it looks a bit dull without it but if, watch what happens here because this is too bright so i take the plot that's there and i say take no action and look it's brought back a lot of detail in here but this is still burned out up here but this has kind of gone a bit darker here so look at it again apply tone curve see it's look it makes the the stone look great but it kills the sky. So let's just take no action. We've now got control. And what we can do now is perhaps go down to highlights here. Now pull this in. This is just going to pull the top in up there. We can pull it up just to the edge there. So we've got a bit more detail, but we've still got this. The picture's a bit flat now. So never mind. What we can do is go to the tones. Or we could do this in the photo persona as well go to the curves and pull this up here. And this is not going to burn it because it holds the top and the bottom. And I can bring this up here, maybe bring this in a bit here to hold down the darks there. And this effectively is the kind of tone curve you're going to get, but when it's without burning out the sky. So we're going to bring this in a bit. So we've got a bit more sky detail. Maybe go back and have a look at the highlights again. Bring that back. Or maybe go to the exposure and see what happens here. No, I don't need that. It looks like the highlights is probably a good thing to do there. But I'm going to get a lot more detail into the sky here. You can see all the things here. Pull this, the histogram in perhaps a little bit more there. But you can literally play with these other controls and see if this does something which is to, to your suiting. But the real trick there is if the highlights... There are things which are too bright. Go to the system manager and when it says tone curve, 
change it to take no action and you might be able to rescue stuff you didn't know was there. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.